Step into a time capsule and journey back to the golden age of television, where laughter echoed through living rooms and iconic theme songs became the soundtrack of an era. If you close your eyes, can you still hear the catchy tune of the Brady Bunch? The year was 1969, and the world was introduced to the lovable, blended family that would forever capture our hearts. Picture yourself, perhaps as a child or maybe just a curious viewer stumbling upon the show in reruns. Can you recall that first moment when you found yourself in the midst of the Brady chaos, the six kids and their endearing parents who navigated life's ups and downs with humor and heart? As the screen lit up with colorful outfits, perfectly coiffed hair, and those unforgettable Marsha, Marsha, Marsha exclamations, little did we know that we were witnessing the birth of a cultural phenomenon. Each episode brimming with relatable predicaments, sibling squabbles, and life lessons that resonated with audiences then and continue to do so today. Who could forget the Brady's infamous trip to Hawaii, the curious case of the cursed Tiki Idol, or even that iconic time when Peter's voice decided to take a detour into manhood? These moments, frozen in time, remind us of simpler days, where family sitcoms brought joy and the Brady family carved a place in our hearts. So, gather round as we unravel some lesser-known treasures about this beloved show. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the casting quirks that almost changed the course of TV history, these random facts are bound to make you smile, reminisce, and perhaps inspire a rewatch of this timeless classic. After all, who can resist the magnetic pull of nostalgia? So, let's journey together into the world of the Brady Bunch, where every fact is a gem waiting to be discovered. Are you ready to dive in? It's a story that's been told before, but with fresh eyes and untold tales, there's always something new to uncover. The Brady Bunch, a beloved 1969 TV series, follows the life of a blended family consisting of a widowed architect, Mike Brady, and his three sons, as well as a divorced woman, Carol Martin, and her three daughters. Created by Sherwood Schwartz, the show's premise revolves around their efforts to navigate the challenges of merging two families into one harmonious unit. With its wholesome and lighthearted approach, the show became an enduring icon of American television. The show's iconic characters include Mike Brady, the wise and caring patriarch, Carol Brady, the loving and nurturing matriarch, and the six Brady children, each with their distinct personalities and quirks. The show's unique style lies in its family-centric storylines, often addressing relatable issues while maintaining a cheerful tone. The memorable opening theme song and its catchy refrain that's the way we all became the Brady Bunch have become deeply ingrained in popular culture. The Brady Bunch left an indelible mark on popular culture, spawning spin-offs, TV movies, and even a theatrical film adaptation. Its influence extended to fashion, interior design, and vernacular phrases such as Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. The show's depiction of a blended family fostered a sense of togetherness and showcased the power of understanding and cooperation. Intriguingly, the show's iconic Brady House exterior is located in Studio City, California, while the interior scenes were filmed on a separate set. Additionally, the Brady Kids on-screen rivalry had its echoes off-screen, as Maureen McCormick and Eve Plum experienced real-life competition during auditions. With its timeless themes of family unity, the Brady Bunch remains a cherished piece of television history, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show. The famous Brady Staircase, featured in the show's opening credits, doesn't actually exist in the Brady House. The show's popularity surged in the 1970s through syndication, gaining new generations of fans. The Brady Kids' real names often confused fans due to their characters' names becoming so iconic. Robert Reed was initially hesitant to take the role due to concerns about the show's quality, but he eventually embraced it. The Brady Bunch has been parodied and referenced in various TV shows, movies, and commercials over the years. Ann B. Davis, renowned for her role as Alice Nelson in the beloved 1969 TV series The Brady Bunch, showcased her versatility by taking on the role of her own identical cousin in an intriguing twist. Portraying the disciplined Sergeant Emma, Davis ventured beyond her familiar territory. Contrary to her on-screen portrayal, in reality, Davis possessed a non-acting twin, Harriet, who remained out of the limelight. In the realm of the Brady Bunch, characters often claimed moments in the spotlight as episodes bore their names. However, amidst the titular character-centered episodes, Carol Brady, portrayed by Florence Henderson, stood alone. 
She is notably the sole main character to never grace an episode title with her name, as the Brady Brood navigated various heartwarming escapades. The theme song of the show, a catchy tune etched into the memories of countless viewers, had its own intriguing evolution. Penned by Sherwood Schwartz, the theme initially resonated through the harmonies of the Peppermint Trolley Company during the show's inaugural season. A serendipitous moment on set, where Christopher Knight, known as Peter Brady, belted out the theme, sparked a transformative idea. From the second season onward, the Brady kids themselves lent their voices to the show's opening, breathing new life into the tune each year with reimagined arrangements and re-recordings. With the harmonious hum of the Brady kids setting the stage for family adventures, the show secured its place in the hearts of generations, a timeless testament to the power of shared melodies and cherished memories. The Brady Bunch, unspoken pasts and television taboos in the wholesome world of the Brady Bunch, where blended families and life lessons were served with a laugh, some secrets remain veiled. Among them, the enigmatic history of Mike and Carol's previous unions. Throughout the show's five-season run, the names of their former spouses never escaped their lips, leaving viewers to speculate. However, a revealing turn arrived in a very Brady sequel, where Carol's first husband was christened as Roy. Mike's past, shrouded in mystery, yielded a single glimpse in the Brady Bunch, the honeymoon. A photograph, clutched by Bobby, offered a solitary peek at his late wife. The widow's status was thus confirmed, though questions lingered about Carol. Creator Sherwood Schwartz maintained her status as a divorcee, though silence prevailed on the matter during the series. A profound taboo hovered over divorce on television, especially in a family-oriented show of the era. As we step into the Brady residence, more than just familial tales unfold. That interior set played host to a diverse array of series, showcasing its adaptability and iconic design. From the intensity of Mannix to the intrigue of Mission, Impossible, the familiar walls bore witness to a multitude of stories. Even the tranquil ambience of Hawaii Five-O and the quirky charm of Bud found a place within these hallowed halls. In retrospect, the Brady Bunch emerges not only as a cultural touchstone, but also a reflection of the shifting tides of societal norms. As Mike's widowhood found its moment in the spotlight, Carol's divorce status remained consigned to the shadows, emblematic of a television era treading lightly around certain narratives. This delicate dance, orchestrated by Sherwood Schwartz, underscores the series' profound impact on family-oriented storytelling. So, within the laughter and camaraderie of the Brady clan, whispers of the past and echoes of societal restraint linger. A snapshot of a bygone television era, where some truths found voice while others remained hidden, woven into the very fabric of the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch, unveiling behind-the-scenes secrets in the annals of television history, few shows have left as indelible a mark as the 1969 classic. The Brady Bunch. Amidst the heartwarming tales of blended families and catchy opening jingles, hidden details continue to emerge about the show's production, shedding light on its intriguing quirks. A particularly curious revelation centers around the iconic sliding glass door in the rear of the Brady household. A quintessential feature of the home's layout, this portal served as a backdrop for countless familial interactions. However, what escapes common knowledge is that the sliding glass door never bore any actual glass. Instead, it stood devoid of the transparent pane, a clever workaround to mitigate glares from the production's lighting. This subtle move, aimed at perfecting the on-screen aesthetic, encapsulates the meticulousness with which every facet of the show was curated. Yet, a single cast member stood apart in an unanticipated manner. Amidst the predominantly blue-eyed ensemble, Christopher Knight, who portrayed Peter Brady, emerged as the sole member with brown eyes. A detail often overlooked, Knight's distinctive gaze added a layer of individuality to his character, rendering him an unwitting outlier within the iconic family lineup. As we delve into the anecdotes of the Brady Bunch, a fascinating episode involving Florence Henderson, the actress behind matriarch Carol Brady, comes to the fore. During her screen test, Henderson found herself in a moment of unexpected camaraderie with the stars of Star Trek, William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy. Tasked with getting ready in a makeshift environment due to an absence of makeup staff, Henderson's chair was sandwiched between Shatner and Nimoy as they prepared for their own day's work on one of the final episodes of Trek. 
In a surprising twist, both iconic actors remained oblivious to her presence, a testament to the isolated nature of the studio space. Through these revelations, the Brady Bunch assumes a renewed dimension, where the minutiae of set design and cast attributes amplify the show's timeless appeal. As we peel back the layers of this beloved series, we uncover the meticulous craftsmanship that underscored its creation, offering fans an enriched perspective on a bygone era of television magic. As we bid adieu to the enchanting time capsule that is the Brady Bunch, let's take a moment to reflect on the extraordinary journey we've embarked upon with this iconic TV series. Just like the interconnected branches of a sprawling family tree, this show has woven its way into our hearts, leaving us with a tapestry of cherished memories and endearing moments. From the familiar chime of the opening theme to the heartwarming life lessons learned by the Brady clan, every episode has served as a mirror to our own lives, inviting us to ponder the dynamics of family, friendship, and growth. As we've laughed, cried, and celebrated alongside Greg, Marsha, Peter, Jan, Bobby, Cindy, and of course, the ever-wise Alice, we've discovered pieces of ourselves in their trials and triumphs. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight of nostalgia. What is your personal connection to the Brady Bunch? Was it the infectious optimism of Carol Brady or the quintessential 70 seconds fashion that caught your eye? Maybe it was Peter's endearing attempts to tackle adolescence or Jan's relatable struggles with identity. Whatever it may be, we invite you to share your treasured memories and thoughts as together we celebrate the timeless resonance of this beloved show. As we wrap up our journey down memory lane, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to you for sharing in the magic of the Brady Bunch. Your time and interest have made this exploration all the more meaningful. Until we meet again to celebrate the stories that shape us, remember, it's the story of a lovely lady and a man named Brady, and it lives on within each of us. 